up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so my channel is filled with tips tricks hacks and everything you could ever need to know about volleyball so today I'm going to talk about some things you should do before you go outside to play grass volleyball a lot of us are transitioning outside to grass and beach and there are some things that you should do before you do that for just some safety tips so I want you to always remain safe healthy and happy so with that I'm going to give you some of my great recommendations for outdoor grass volleyball play. Let's get right into it. So if you didn't already know, when I train volleyball players, which I do here in Charlotte, North Carolina, I make sure that I give them a recommendation list of things that they should bring with them when we start practicing outside in the grass. And I've been recently dabbling a little bit into grass volleyball, so these are some of the things that I think are really important, especially when you're transitioning to beach, which a lot of us are, and grass. So starting with that, some of these are just a little bit obvious, but I'm just going to reiterate them because they're so important. And the first thing is a water bottle. Now, because it is so important to have a water bottle or a refillable water container, especially when you tend to burn through so much energy when you're outside and the sun drains you, I have my water bottle here. I have a blender bottle. And my blender bottle, I think I got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99 or something like that and it's refillable and BPA free so especially when I'm outside and somebody maybe has like one of those water tanks or there's a water fountain I can just refill this water bottle and uh, be able to keep drinking water throughout the entirety of practice so that way I can stay hydrated the entire time so this is why I really love this water bottle also, if you don't have a water bottle, it's also important to get Gatorade or something that will replenish your electrolytes because the sun will burn those electrolytes from your body and then you'll be extra tired, which you don't want, especially if you're at practice or you're playing with friends. So make sure to think about either a Gatorade or a Powerade, something that will replenish your electrolytes or get that water bottle where you can refill a water bottle. But regardless, you need to stay hydrated. After that, I bring my outdoor volleyball, not my indoor volleyball. So I've been thinking about filming a video on my outdoor volleyball collection. That has not been done yet. Oh, I'm sorry my volleyball collection in general. That hasn't even done yet because I have maybe like 15 or 16 volleyballs at this point, but this is one of mine that I recently just got. I just made a video on it and it's just, thank you. This is the Molten Beach Volleyball, as you can see right here. Boo -boo. So the importance of the beach volleyball is this volleyball is made differently than the indoor volleyball because the indoor volleyball is a little bit softer in material and we want to make sure to preserve that so that way it stays that way. The outdoor volleyball is made differently so that way it can be um, weather defensive and it can stand those harsher climates and that weather so that way you can use it for years to come. So looking at an outdoor volleyball is important because you want to have one that's going to last you a long time, right? Not one that you take outside and then it's just... So this is why I like this volleyball, particularly not only because the colors are really cute, but because it's gonna last me a long time, especially when I start playing outdoor volleyball again. Next is one of the most arguably important parts other than the ball, is the sunscreen. And this is the sunscreen, this is the beach defense. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on this. This is the beach defense by, uh, Neutrogena and this beach defense. I really like this because it's 100 SPF Which is really really important Especially when the SPF corresponds with how many minutes the that the uh, sunscreen is active So I use this part water and sun protection on my body, but I use a different one on my face So on my face I use a little bit different of an SPF because my face I have sensitive skin So I want to make sure to take care of my skin and body because the Sun ages your body and you don't want that because UV is bad for you. So this is what I use. It's also Neutrogena, which is Hydro Boost. This video is not sponsored, but they can sponsor me though. Um, Hydro Boost, which is the water gel lotion. I recently found this because what I have found with sunscreen is it tends to be goopy and it will get on your face and then when you start sweating, it will sweat off your body. Have you had that happen? And people are like, yo, like what is on your face? Yeah, no, I don't like that. And it feels, it gets in your eyes and it burns. But I found that this one works really effective because it is 50 SPF. It's broad spectrum. But what I really like is it's a gel, gel, gel. And it just, 
it goes right on under the under it all oh, I like this I like this a lot this is a gel it's a gel it's just so awesome and this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It's a gel, I really like it a lot, so. So that's why I think it's important to wear the sunscreen because you wanna make sure to take care of your skin, especially when the sun's beating down because that tournament I did last year when I was outside and it was a grass tournament, I swear it was like 98 degrees and I just was just glistening in that sun. But you know what? Protect it because I had sunscreen on. The next thing that is really important is sunglasses. You need to have some kind of look at my refractory sunglasses. You need to have some sunglasses because not only do you have to protect your skin, you need to protect your eyes. Now, a lot of people don't like playing with sunglasses, but a lot of people do. I think it's important to protect your eyes, your body, all of that. So I recommend that you get a pair of sunglasses. They don't have to be funky like these ones, but something that's gonna stay on your face and protect your eyes from the sun. Next is a visor. A lot of people like playing with visors or hats, but this is my visor. I use this visor when I'm coaching. It's just a, it's a plain old Nike visor, but I like that because sometimes I wear my puffs or my I wear my um, buns, but I just want something that when I can slip on, uh, my hair can stick out on the top. So this is my visor. I like this a lot. Um, some people prefer hats. My head is really big, so I prefer a visor for obvious reasons. It's up to you. Just something to protect your face from the elements. Next, because of obvious reasons, I have a hand sanitizer, and this is one of those little dangly attachments that I put to my bag. It's this little dangly attachment I put on my bag, and I have it so I can refill it. So I put this little hand sanitizer pack on my bag, and this is something that I can use, um, that I take with me when I'm outside, because you never know when your hands are gonna get dirty. Almost last, but I bring baby wipes with me. I bring baby wipes with me because sometimes my hands, if I'm playing sand, they get a little sandy and dirty and I don't like that feeling. So I bring baby wipes with me so that way I keep my hands absolutely clean and if I need to do something else, between sets or something like that I have baby wipes to kind of wipe that sand off also I bring baby wipes with me just in case others need to wash their hands or something like that or they need to wipe their hands off this is why I always have these with me but last but not least my favorite this is personal to me but it may apply to you is I bring some kind of chapstick and this is the Vaseline Lip Fairy um, Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced. I used to be one of those cherry chapstick kind of girls, but now I like this right here, which is the Vaseline Lip Therapy, because not only can I close the top, but it really moisturizes it, and it keeps me from getting um, cotton mouth, because sometimes it's just, you know, especially when you're outside and it's hot, and when you drink a lot of water, it's kind of gross. So I try to keep myself moisturized at all times. Also, one thing that I don't have in this video that I think you should bring is one of those little small first aid kits because sometimes when you're out in the grass and the sand, we're more privy to be getting injured, which is like, you know, small cuts and bruises, and it's important to keep those things clean so they heal properly. So I bring one of those little small first aid kits with you so that way you have all the protection you need from everything. So I really hope that this video was very helpful for you, that you learned something that you didn't already know, especially if you're starting to out into that grass and sand area. I hope that you found some great recommendations for you for some products that you're looking for or maybe you weren't looking for but now you are. I have links to all of those products down below in the description box. Uh, also I'm wearing my shirt so if you haven't seen my shirt my shirts are also down in that bar right there and I'm working on some cocoa so I hope you're really excited about that because it's really coming soon and I want to thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel that we have surpassed 113,000 that we have surpassed 113,000 of you guys um, I am so blessed to be able to have each and every one of you who watch my channel, who have come to me at different parts of their playing volleyball career, at different points and stages of life. I am so happy that I am able to both give you volleyball advice and really help you on your journey and help you become great players and great people. So thank you for joining me here. And I hope to make content for you guys as long as I can so that way we can both grow in volleyball and we can grow in life. So with that, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.